Hello, hi, how are you guys? Uh, this is Akash Lobdi and today we are going to install Kali Linux on Google Cloud Platform that is GCP. Many of you guys are facing a issue of low bandwidth from your uh, internet service provider or ISP or your IP is getting blocked by company uh, while performing the recon or reconnaissance. So today we are utilizing the Google Cloud Platform's $300 free credits to create our VM instance of Kali. So let's get started. So let's jump on our console right away. Go to your Google Cloud console. Google gives us a $300 free credit to utilize their Google Cloud services like storage, VM instances and how uh, many other services they provide we can utilize uh, we utilize this for 90 days or within a 300 dollar limit so let's just uh, jump on the compute engine and vm instances uh, we'll create a vm instance of uh, debian based distribution because kali linux is based on the debian distribution if you take on the google uh, you can find that the Kali Linux is based on the uh, Debian Linux distribution. Uh, I also created a notes for this uh, Kali, how to install the Kali Linux on the GCP. Uh, I'll drop that link in the description box. So uh, we'll just create an instance uh, with the name Kali. Uh, I'll s okay, you must contain the lowercase. Okay, so sorry for that. We'll just set his name as a Kali. Uh, then region uh, will set for the US West and the zone also for the US. Uh, then the machine configuration will use E2 uh, CPU cloud platform. And the machine we are using uh, two CPU versions and four GB of RAM. Then scroll down to the boot disk. Uh, in the boot disk, we'll uh, use the operating system as a Debian. And for, uh, for the demo purpose, we are using the size of 30 GB of hard drive. Let's just allow the firewall to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic and hit the create button. On the right hand side you can see the monthly estimate for this uh, cloud instance VM instance. Uh, while it's creating please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my this new channel. Also let me know in a comment uh, uh, what type of videos uh, you like in the future so our vm instance is created let's get it connect from the ssh console for the installing uh, kali uh, we'll need to update the repo uh, from the etc update source list and then we'll add the private key for this uh, repository uh, while installing our Kali Linux and then we'll install the, our meta packages so we have successfully connected the Kali from the SSH console so I'll just log in into the root user and clear it out my screen and just hit the apt update before starting our installation and apt upgrade also so let's now jump into the our source list it's under the etc apt folder oops it's apt okay here we can find the source dot list file so we'll just edit that with an nano text editor source dot list file and we'll comment this everything enter uh, these are all the default debian uh, repositories uh, we have to comment this all and we have to add our kali linux repository you can find this uh, from this url kali repositories uh, switching kali to the main branch so will this copy just this repositories from the official kali website and drop it to our source stop list file then this is the first one and this is the second one okay and this is the second one 
hit the control X, Y and enter to save this file and we'll hit the apt update here so once we hit the apt update it will give us the error this is the expected error for the gpg key uh, gpg key uh, which is a public key we have to provide this public key so how we can provide this i have added the key and uh, it's uh, ca for this so i'll just clear it out of my screen and add this key uh, it will take some time to create the key under your root uh, folder or the root of your system. So, uh, for this repository Kali, uh, we have successfully created the key and we'll add that key uh, to the to the our public path. So we have added the key. Now let's just hit the apt update. So it's now starting the fetching the documents and all the files from the kali linux so we'll just hit the apt upgrade to download all the prerequisites for uh, before installing our meta packages for the kali linux so while it's installing we'll just open the kali meta packages website here so what is a kali meta packages kali meta packages are installed uh, they are meta packages for a system like if you want to install the core uh, Kali Linux or the headless or the whole Kali Linux or the for the Wi-Fi penetration testing or the desktop penetration testing. Everything is um, every meta packages are present on this URL. So we can select anything from here to install uh, our Kali Linux. We just need, need to install the apt install and the meta package name. So for the demo purpose, we are installing just the Kali Linux core. It is just a uh, base system of the Kali. You can install the Kali Linux large, Kali Linux everything, Kali Linux top 10 or the Kali desktop live. Uh, but it will take uh, some time to for installation depends upon the uh, size of that meta package. Let's check over where is our update now. Uh, restart serving the during the package upgrade without asking. Uh, it will take some time for installing the prerequisites for the Kali Linux. Uh, once that then uh, we'll install the meta package in future uh, we'll try to cover up uh, what tools uh, we can utilize in bug hunting or a reconnaissance of bug hunting uh, like finding the subdomains and directories the files which are uh, using uh, in the web applications To perform the offensive hunting also So yeah, we have successfully installed all the prerequisites. I'll just clear it out my screen and go to my root directory and we'll install the apt install our meta package for the Kali Linux and we'll install Kali Core, Kali Linux Core. Hit enter and yeah it's started you can see how fast this is going google gives us the <coughs> ssd drives and their uh, higher internet speed their dns so uh, there will be less chances of getting blocked from the main companies uh, and uh, lesser chances of low bandwidth so 
we are successfully installed the Kali here. Let's try to exit and try to our sudo hyphen i, and you can see we have successfully installed the our Kali with the Kali meta packages. So you can use uh, any of these meta packages for the demo purpose. I just installed the core package here, but uh, you can install the everything from here like large everything or top 10 or the like or any of you you want the like uh, information gathering tools uh, or the vulnerability tools the, for the web application tools web application penetration testing tool uh, these are the different meta packages are available hope you guys like this video uh, please like and subscribe my channel and uh, hit the like button and uh, let me know in the comment how you guys uh, like this video uh, also what type of videos are you want in the future thank you bye meet you in the next video